Good evening to you. I'm Paul C. Collip. The 17th ranked Arizona men's basketball team took the court in its first exhibition of the season. It all went down to McHale Center against Western Oregon. And here are a few takeaways from tonight's showdown. Everybody was wondering which of the several newcomers would get the start. Well, it'd be the transfer from the Texas Longhorns, Courtney Ramey, and he would not disappoint, scoring Arizona's first bucket of the game. In fact, the Wildcats would jump out to a 9-0 lead, culminating with a slam dunk by Azules Tubeles. Speaking of, Tubeles busted out with 14 points in the first half and led all scores with 19 in the game. And he wasn't the only returning big man flexing muscles tonight. Umar Balo was used to coming off the bench last season, and tonight he got the start and played strong. Balo had a double-double with 14 points and 11 rebounds. Another takeaway. Arizona's defense. The Wildcats forced 24 turnovers tonight, leading to dunks like that one right there. The Wildcats run away with it in the second half and take home the 91-61 victory. It wasn't all perfect, though. Kirk Kreza was held scoreless, but he did dish out four assists despite being 0 for 3 from the field. Here is Umar Balo on his new role as a starter. I gotta be leader and I gotta be ready every single night because I have some young guys that I need to set a great example for them. So for me to earn this uh, spot, is, it means a lot. It means the world to me and, and I have to come, come in nine, nine hours to do my job. Hey, Coach Jed Fish and the Arizona Wildcats are now learning they're an over 17-point underdog against 12th-ranked Utah in a matchup set to kick off at 4.30 p.m. this Saturday on the road. But no worries, the Wildcats were a big underdog on Saturday against 10th-ranked USC and still played them tough and lost by just one possession. Meanwhile, we have some good news coming from campus tonight. Arizona sophomore quarterback Jaden DeLora has been named to the Davey O'Brien quarterback class of 2022. DeLora is fourth in the nation in passing yards per game with over 330 yards per contest. The recent designation makes Jaden DeLora eligible to be voted one of 16 semifinalists for the Davey O'Brien National Quarterback of the Year Award. It will be determined by a fan vote on the official Davey O'Brien social media pages. Delora is also fifth in the nation in total offense as he's been also logging lots of yardage on the ground as well as you can see right here against the top 10 team in USC. This afternoon Delora talked about being on page with Coach Jed Fish now after an early season transition period. I mean coach is kind of giving me the green light to just play now you know I kind of told him this if we need it, just keep the ball in my hands, you know, not in like a like a cocky way or anything. It's just I'll distribute it to the guys, you know what I mean? Like I'd rather have the ball in my hands to where it's I can get it to Jacob or I can get it to T-Mac and get it to Dorian. And if I need to, I'll run it. Hey, if you missed what Coach Fish is saying about Delora from our 6 p.m. newscasts, no worries. We have it all on KVOA's YouTube page. And keeping it right here in the crazy AZ, this week's Friday Football Fever is about to heat up even more with the 3A and 2A playoffs beginning. Benson, Push Ridge, and Sabino all kicked off in the playoffs on Friday. Well, they're actually going to kick off, that is, while Tanka Verde and Wilcox will smack helmets in their first round of the 2A action. We have full playoff schedules with Tucson area teams on KVOA.com. Speaking of, Wilcox High School, the four seed from Cochise County has the Clipper Automotive Player of the Week. David Kelly will have that full story on Wednesday in our 6 p.m. newscast. And Pueblo High School and U of A alum Francisco Romero is at his fourth World Series as a play-by-play -play man with the Houston Astros. That's him on the right there. But he would see his team get hosed tonight against Philly. Here comes a two-run shot by Bryce Harper to start things off. The Phillies pull away for the 7-0 win after blasting five home runs on the night. The Astros now trail two games to one in the World Series. Hey, once the World Series ends, Francisco Romero will head back right here to Tucson to resume his duties as the Spanish language play-by-play -play broadcaster for the U of A Wildcats in football and in hoops. It's no secret, Romero is hoping he returns with another World Series ring. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Cala for News 4 Tucson Sports. We'll be right back.